So the basic principles of Redux are gonna sound pretty familiar to you if you've ever written a Redux function before. The basic idea behind Redux is that you're making a new copy of your data every time you make any change of any kind. It's very functional in nature. You have three basic concepts that you have to keep track of and everything else kind of falls into place from that. You have the main store, which is where you keep all of your data and keep track of changes. Then you have what's called a reducer. A reducer makes sure to create a new copy of your data based on whatever action is being taken. And then you have actions that tell your reducers what to do. Something in your view triggers an action and that action travels to what's called a dispatcher. That dispatcher calls your reducer to say, hey, here's this action and here's this state. What happens next? The reducer says, oh, I have state, I have an action. If I know what this action does, I change the state and return the new state. Redux then says, oh, cool, I have a new state. I'm going to put this state into, into React and React is then going, going to React and re-render everything. So let's try to actually start writing some code and implement a little app in Redux and then later we're going to do it with other libraries as well. Okay, this is going to be a completely contrived example but we're going to build a very simple Redux app that just counts because a counter is easy to implement. We're going to start by creating a store using create the create store and giving it a reducer. Our reducer function accepts a state, it accepts an action as well, decides based on the type of our action what to do. By default, we're going to just return our state. Action is increment. We're going to state plus action dot value or plus one. So we're now returning either what the action says is the value of how much to increase by or it will return one. To render our app inside a provider, our store is its store. This is putting, putting the Redux store into context. App is going to be a connected function that gets state to props and map dispatch to props. And our app as props is going to get the value and an action for 